Okay, so first of all, what is a narrative argument? I'm quite sure you heard narrative before because most people have written a personal narrative at some point in their school. And everyone I know has read or listened to a story before. And then also argument is the most common modality of writing for college level courses. And it's becoming the most pop popular type of writing in high school as well, obviously to prepare you for college. So when you combine those two things together, what does that mean? So that means you're going to create an essay in which you both tell stories and make an argument. So the best way I can sum that up is what's written here, an essay in which you determine an issue that means something to you. You make a case for that issue, but you do it with supporting evidence that comes from your own personal experience, not from outside sources. So this will not involve any research. The second half of this very accelerated course will be all based on research. So we're going to start with how to create a good argument and to use some techniques like narrative. And then we're going to move into how do we use our knowledge from 101, which was teaching you about how to find sources and how to use rhetoric to create a more research-based argument. So in this case, why would you even use a narrative argument? Well, think about the things that convince you. Think about the things that are going on right now in the world. When people tell stories, it usually resonates more with an audience than if you are spewing out a bunch of facts, statistics, and numbers, and you know all these scientific uh, testimonies. Now there's a place for that, and it is really convincing when it is ba based on facts and sound research, but that's hard for the general public to connect to. It gets really dry very quickly. Um, people get lost in the numbers. We think about your least interesting professor ever who lectures about math for 40 minutes. I mean, you're lost in like the first five minutes generally, unless you love math. And this person is just extra engaging. But if that person tells stories about something uh, that has to do with math, you're more likely to not only be engaged, but also remember the concept. So it can be very, very effective to use stories. It can appeal to pathos, so our emotional, our sense of, of feeling and caring. It um, can help you connect to people in an audience so that they uh, listen to you, believe you, remember what you're saying, but also can establish ethos. So your credibility, um, when you have gone through something, you have a unique credibility that other people may not have. And so people trust you more when you've been through it, right? Um, and they trust you less when you have no experience in something. It's just the way it is. It's human nature. And then finally, you can create powerful images for people. And so it could actually help to spur change a little bit more than, say, statistics. So uh, what are the characteristics of a narrative argument? The most important thing is it must include at least one personal story. So your entire essay could be a story from beginning, middle to end of a story. There are different ways to organize the essay, which we'll talk about much later. It's on the actual assignment if you want to go ahead and look at it, um, because it doesn't have to start at the beginning. It can kind of jump around in time as long as you arrive at um, an organization that makes sense. I mean, we don't get lost. Um, but this, this narrative has to include storytelling. The word narrative means to tell a story. So you have to have a story to tell. It doesn't need to be written like a creative piece unless you just are really into that. Um, but it, it could be, but it does need to include personal experiences. So when I say story, I mean a personal story, something that's happened to you or someone that you're very close with that you can recount for the audience when you're reading, when you're, well, telling the story. And then the storytelling must have details. And this is description. So lots of adjectives, adverbs, we need to know color, sound, feeling, what you tasted, smelled, all the things. Okay, you are setting a scene here. So in that sense, it is a little creative. It's more creative than, you know, a, a typical straightforward argument piece. I need to have a lot of details because I don't know this story and I don't know you very well. So I need to know the impact. I need to understand what was going on, how people were interacting, reacting, what was going on. It's like you're creating a script for a play or a story or a, a TV show almost. 
Um, and that's what sensory details mean, you know, anything that engages the senses. Um, those are a bonus because it really does help a person envision what this was like for you and why it's important for you. And then finally, um, you know, you might be thinking, well, an argument means I have a thesis and I have some points to back it up. Most people have kind of learned how to do a 3.5, which would be like, you have a thesis and you have three supporting examples, and those usually come from outside sources. Well, that is not the way this is going to be. Your support is simply your story. And because this has to be a certain number of pages long, it's not about three paragraphs, five paragraphs, whatever. This is about telling a story. 